Good morning, St. Joe's, and to our social media community. Today is Friday, June 19th, 2020. It is the last day of the second last week of school. Keep going. You can do it. And so as we begin our reflection, I'd like to pray for uh, the following intentions. Uh, the first one is the ongoing war in addition to the COVID-19 crisis in the country of Yemen and the Middle East. We pray for peace. Um, I'd like to pray for um, an end to racism and racial discrimination. Um, and if we can also pray just for our school community, our staff and our students. Um, sometimes it feels at this time of the year, um, especially uh, in distance learning, um, that it's like the last bit of a marathon. So let's pray for strength, let's pray for perseverance for all of our staff and students as we end off uh, the school year soon. And let's pray for heart as well. Go figure, when you think about the heart in today's reflection, what comes to mind? Well, if you're a science teacher like me, you think of that essential organ found in our chest area that is literally the beating life force of all of us. It receives an electrical signal from the brain that gives the ability to pump oxygen-filled blood all over our bodies and transport nutrients to all the places that need it. What does it mean when someone says you need to have heart? Well, it means to have enthusiasm and enjoyment in whatever it is that you do, that there has to be a life force for your actions. And finally, when someone tells you that you need to have a heart, I think this applies to everyone. We can always afford to be a little bit more kind, gentle, and loving. The idea of the heart being connected to love began as early as the ancient Greeks. So why am I talking so much about the heart? Well, today the church celebrates the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. Today, not on Sunday, today. Uh, in which we honor God's love for all humanity, often represented with the image of Jesus' physical heart. Along with the image is a crown of thorns around the heart, representing the, crowns of th the crown of thorns placed around Jesus' head uh, before he was crucified, um, a cross representing the crucifixion, and a wound from the spear that pierced his side. All of these point towards a love that was so great that it was willing to suffer for all of our sins. There's also a flame on top of the sacred heart, representing how passionate Christ's love really is. Now, all of the readings today point towards God's great love, sending his son to be the perfect example of love to us and to all others. Moses says that it's because of God's love that he brought the Israelites out of slavery. Jesus says in John's gospel that God is love and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. And finally, in today's gospel, a beautiful expression of God's love. And hear me out for a sec. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. Here we hear Jesus saying, I love you so much, I got you. If that isn't great love, I have no idea what is. What a beautiful thought as we go into the weekend celebrating Father's Day, acknowledging not the love of our fathers, not only the love of our fathers, but the love of the Father for all of us sons and daughters. And so we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, your heart is a heart of love like no other love. It beats for us and gives us our strength. It loves us so much that you sacrificed yourself for us. Continue to pour your overwhelming love over us and give us the grace to return that love to you, filled with the same passion of fire as your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Have a great weekend, Saint Joseph. See you on Monday.